so hey guys it's um uh, it's yeah it's pride month <laughs> as y'all probably know i have been you know pretty publicly out for pretty much my entire internet life um specifically five years i want to say i want to say that i've known that i've been a part of the lgbt community for like yeah about five years now since I was like 15, so yeah. Um, but I wanted to kind of elaborate on my uh, journey throughout the years about it because uh, it it's uh, it's important for me to it's important to me to look back and uh, reflect on how far I've come in life. I know that sounds kind of uh, cheesy, but I like to keep mementos. I'm a very, I'm a very sentimental person. But, um, yeah. So, I first discovered what bisexuality was in 8th grade. Uh, I was a pretty sheltered kid. I didn't really know much. Nothing ever really got explained to me. I had to find this kind of stuff out on my own. But, more or less, I discovered what bisexuality was in eighth grade when I actually got asked out by a girl. And, you know, I kind of liked her at the time. I mean, I don't talk with her now. She's just with bad, bad falling out. But that's a different story for a different day. Um, But she asked me out, and I had only had boyfriends up until then. And she was like, hey, I'm bi. Do you want to go out? And I'm like, I, I, I fortunately, I, I may be dense, but I quickly, in that second, split second, figured out what bisexuality was, and I'm like, oh, means she goes both ways. Heck, I go both ways, too. I think she's kind of cute. Yeah, sure, let's go out. So it's kind of more or less a split second discovery, but, you know, things didn't exactly work out there, obviously, but... You know, it was uh, one of those things. Um, in terms of my bisexuality at the time, I identify as pan now, but it, you know, you can you can switch out labels for yourself uh, throughout your life. But it's it's totally fine to not stick with one label for your whole life. But again, different tangent for a different day. I first came out to my dad. I cannot quite remember where I came out to him. I think it was in the car. But I first came out to my dad. He was pretty chill about it, more or less. He was like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, he's a good person. You know, whatever. I don't care. Um, and when I came out to my mom, it was in the middle of a cracker barrel. Because um, we were having a discussion, and I can't remember how it came up, but I was like, Dad, did you tell Mom that I was bi? Because I told her not to tell her, because she was probably going to take it a lot more harder than Dad did. And she did. And, and her first question was, what, so that means I won't get grandkids? And I'm like, eh, not necessarily. I mean, adoption's a thing, you know. But uh, it, it was, it, this was like, five years ago, keep in mind, so the conversation was very blurry. Um, you know, in terms of, that's, that's pretty typical, you know, it's, it, it's, it was fairly typical reaction. My parents are, for the most part, pretty casual about things like that. As long as you're, you know, as long as you are a good person, they don't mind very much, but when I came out as trans was a whole other story. Um, so I first discovered what, because again, I was a very sheltered kid. I did not know that the word transgender existed. I didn't know it was a thing. I had absolutely no idea that this was a part of the LGBT community at all, 
fact, I don't even think I knew the full LGBT acronym at the time. But I first discovered what it actually was in 2015 when Caitlyn Jenner came out. And I know she's a bad example because of all the other crap she's done, but uh, considering her coming out made, like, put it into a mainstream enough light to where I was able to see it, I'm still thankful for when she came out. And it, it this was the same situation for a lot of people, too. A lot of other people did not know what it was, and when Caitlyn Jenner came out, they were like, oh, that's me. That, that's me. I've never heard of this before. And at the time, I didn't really think much of it when it was first being released. And it was mostly because Caitlyn was a trans woman, whereas I felt more like a guy, obviously. I was born a female. You know, weird junk, but it didn't exactly click with me until shortly after one of my friends came out as gender fluid. I had no idea what that was, and they were texting me, and I was in the middle of Menards, and they were texting me, and they were like, hey, I'm gender fluid, could you call me by female pronouns on some days and male pronouns on other days? And I had absolutely no clue what he was talking about. So, I went to Google, and I Googled it, and this was where a huge door blew open for me, because I had no clue that this part of the community existed. And I was very dense, I was very sheltered, so I had no clue that this, I don't want to say culture, because... That's not really what it is, but I had no clue that this part of the community existed, and so I was like, yeah, sure, and I actually identified as gender fluid for a while, <laughs> and, um, actually, I made, it, I made it kind of difficult on my friends, because I was going through a change where, a, a time in my life where I didn't really know what I was, and since gender fluid was what I was first introduced to, I kind of stuck with it until I found something that I actually felt was me, which, you know, sounds, it sounds worse than it actually is, but you can change labels in your life and still be perfectly valid, because you are always growing and changing as a person, and we're always discovering things about ourselves on a daily basis. Um, but I had three different names for different days that I felt like different things, because again, I was going through, well, I guess you could call it a transitional period, I guess that's sort of a pun, <laughs> but um, I was still kind of clinging on to my quote-unquote old self, I suppose. I. It is very hard to explain my reasoning and logic for why I identified as gender fluid for the longest time, but truthfully, it was just settling on something. And that's not to say also that gender fluid people are going through a phase or anything. They're not, and they're totally valid. Just it it was it was a thing for me, you know. Um, but digressions aside, um. I did a little bit more digging around and discovered the term demiboy and a bunch of other different non-binary terms, and I was like, yeah, yeah, that sounds like me. I sit mostly on the boy side with a little bit of non-binary mixed in, and I kept to myself about it for about six months after I settled on Demi Boy and settled on the name Jaren. And when I came out to my parents, I did not come out to my parents by choice. Um, which surprises a lot of people that I know that I tell about because my parents are very chill about it now, but 
at the time, I was a, I accidentally outed myself via my uh, private Facebook page that I had my preferred gender and pronouns on, and they actually confronted me about it in the middle of a call first. I'm I'm kind of noticing that restaurants are kind of a theme with me, but um. They confronted me about it while we were eating dinner, and I was, they threw pretty, pretty mean accusations at me, like, oh, this is like losing our, our precious daughter, we always wanted a daughter this entire time, you know, oh, I'm sure it was just your trans friend that you've been hanging out with, because at the time I had another, a different friend than the gender fluid one that I had been hanging out with, and they knew about, and they were thoroughly convinced that I was only coming out as trans because I had that friend quote-unquote influencing me when the actual truth of the matter was I had actually come out to that friend as trans like when I met them. <laughs> That's beside the point though. So that was a little bit uh, earth-shattering for me. They did not accept me for the longest time. I think about two years. They yeah, because it was 16, 16 when I quote-unquote came out as trans, or when I was outed as trans, and so I stayed in my same high school for three out of four of my high school years, and then the fourth year, I got accepted into a career tech school that is in our state, in our county, and um, since it was a career tech school that accepted students from all different high schools throughout the county, they had a much bigger variety of a student body to work with first off, so they had more experience with more unique individuals and unique students. So I grew up in a small town, so when I tried talking to the counselor's office there about things like, you know, me being trans, they didn't really know what to do with me at my home school. Whereas at my at my career tech school, they I walked in and I'm like, hey, could you call me a boy here? And they're like, oh sure. Yeah, sure, we got you, yeah. And um it took about a month for me to have a mental breakdown in the counselor's office for um, things that I don't really want to go into in this video, maybe in a future video. Um, needless to say, though, that um, the experience ended up uh, making both me and my parents realize that my identity was something that they needed to respect and that other people needed to respect and take into consideration. And uh, ever since then, They've been really good about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And pretty much everyone else in my life has been, for the most part, accepting. Uh, co-workers are usually, like, just still casually misgender me, even though I've been out since before I got hired there. And I... But, I mean, they don't usually intentionally do it to hurt me, so I usually just go with it. But yeah, for the most part it's been easy sailing from there. And yeah, it's my coming out story. So, um, and also, uh, real quick about the picture, this is a new character of mine. Um, you can read more info on his toy house, which I can link. Okay, well, uh, that's it. Bye!